what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Early morning today. It is what, 9 a.m. right now. So uh, I think this might have been the earliest video we've done as a little conversation video here. Usually we're here in the evening and we're uh, sipping on beers. beers and now we're just sipping on water. Little discussion video I want to have today. I uh, want to go over the reason why Harley Davidson will be charging you more for your bike. I got charged more for my bike. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't know, after, I think it was July 1st, wasn't July it? July 1st. Uh, where Harley Davidson introduced this new surcharge. Uh, it was a raw material surcharge. So we're going to get into the, the details of what we think about it and if they're, you know, if it's valid or not, whatever. But um, yeah, after July 1st onward, uh, they're um, charging a little premium for that. Um, so it depends on what type, what type of size bike you get as well. So I know for my bike, uh, when I got the uh, Rogue Ladder right now, it was an additional maybe four to five hundred dollars extra. Um, and then for the smaller bikes, how much is it? Like three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. I think for sports. Cars. Yeah. So you're looking at two hundred, three hundred, and four hundred, uh, depending on the size bike you get. Um, and once again, this is for raw material usage. Uh, it's a surcharge for that. So what that means is that they're charging you more because they need to pay more for the materials you're using so as far as metals and aluminum or Shipping. rubber and this and that as you know now with everything going on in the world and everything paused inflation on everything has gone through the roof yeah. on everything especially of those materials that people need on a daily basis um yo so my contractor friend was telling me that he's paying like what was it like i think it's like four times more now for, for lumber like, for like a piece of uh plywood yeah. and lumber and like it's, it's, it's crazy it's insane so it's, it's it's on everything how do you feel about the whole uh surcharge thing of them charging us i mean it's not the dealers that are doing it it's from harley it's on their website just like freight but then the dealer charges prep then the dealer charges you know documentation fees and all this other bullshit. so it just keeps Bing, 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 bing. Right. So to me, I just think it should be, if you're gonna charge list price, list price, plus tax, and then your motor vehicle. Not make all this money all the way along the whole thing. Obviously, they're not gonna have the surcharge next year because they're just gonna roll it right into the price. So next year, the prices are gonna be higher. On top of, they said they're already gonna raise the prices. Yeah, well, we'll get into that in a few. Yeah. But uh, as far as like you as a consumer right now, like it you, pisses me off. That, like, that bothers you? That bothers me. I mean, I understand why they're doing it, but they make enough money where they could absorb it. It's not like it's January and they're starting it off. They started off July 1st. It's, it's kind of like the government uh, using the taxpayers money to pay for other stuff like the bailout. <laughs> Yeah, you know, or I mean, it's, it's wars. Yeah, I mean, they they do they, they they can raise prices, and the thing they can raise prices or change prices at any time, and they actually raise some of the prices on the bikes too. Like the sports car went up, I think, another few hundred dollars. Yeah, which is ridiculous. With no change. Yeah, with no change. So yeah, I mean, I mean, for, for that, it's like a little all right. Well, you raise the price like another six hundred dollars, and then you raise plus, it again a couple hundred plus a surcharge for that. It's like a little bit. It's like ten thousand dollars for an eight eighty three sports. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that, that's insane. <clears throat> um, I don't know. So me, for example, I'm I'm on the I'm like fifty fifty with this. As a company, due to the fact that everything around the world is highly inflated right now, due to stuff that I want to mention because they're not getting demonetized. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like 50-50. Like, I kind of see it on their end. It's like, all right, well, now we got to pay extra money to make these bikes for you. So, like, I mean, we, we are going to be losing out money. We're going to charge you more money. You know, so I I, 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 I see that on their end, like, why are they charging it? But then I'm on the consumer end, I'm like, well, maybe you should be eating it. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm in the middle. I'm like, I kind of think I, you should be eating it. But the thing is, at least at least they put it on their website because as soon as I mentioned the surcharge, a bunch of my friends got on the thing and like, that's bullshit. You know, Matt Lalo doesn't charge any fees or anything. You go, go go to California and get the bike. And I'm like, it's from Harley Davidson. It's not yeah. a dealer trying to gouge you. Yeah. Which at least they made that clear because the dealers are probably like, oh shit. 
because on top of what they're charged. It makes them look bad. It looks like, like it, really bad. They're no more personal going to a deal and think, oh, well, you're, you're, trying to rate you're me. charging yeah. me. Yeah, you know? you're trying like, to No, freaking, it's on the website. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's very transparent why they're doing it. Um, but like I said, I'm 50-50. I'm, I'm like either, I'm like, you should just eat it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I do understand about everything going on. So it's like, it's, it's a hard situation, man. But if you're wanting to look for a brand new bike, then that's what you're going to have to pay right now. Either it's that little extra charge. Um, as far as uh, prices for next year, for 2022, uh, I mean, I guess you and me are uh, on the same boat. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we kind of been talking about this for a while where we both think that they are going to raise the prices on all bikes. I've heard rumors six to 15 percent depending on model I mean, per model like certain models will be six percent which is a lot 15 percent is insane but that's going to be on other like different models but nobody's specifying well, so like a, like i would i would probably see like i don't think it's going to be on the dress or the cbo 15 percent on cbo is insane then you're going to be up for fifty thousand dollars i mean here's the thing though is that the way the, 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 the way that CVO is now compared to like let's say my Rogue Glide Special, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not that much of a difference. So I like I, let's say if they did go up to like a 15, 16 percent, they would have to justify on why. Meaning, I mean, I could see 15 percent if they gave you a 131. No, no, but that, that that that's what I'm getting at. They would have to justify why they're going to be charging so much more money because they're going to be so much different from a special, right? So let's say, all right, well the CVOs are not going to have 131s. Or 124s or yeah, CBLs are going to be 130, whatever, yeah, like you know? 124, 120, exactly. or so 131. At, at, at that point, can then you justify? I'll justify the extra, you know, four thousand dollars exactly right? because you're paying for it, but exactly. it's on the bike already. But if you're going to give it such a high increase and leave it as is, then that's like, like that's like a death. That yeah. to me is like a nail in your coffin. Exactly. That's like you know just getting ridiculous or whatever. So and the six percent they're going to say is because of. I mean, the, 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 that's the surcharge. They said two percent to four percent or something yeah. like that. So they're gonna they're gonna incorporate that into the price for next year. So it's not gonna be a surcharge. It's gonna be. I mean, at least I hope they're not gonna raise the prices and still have the surcharge. That's just crazy too. But that's why we bought bikes this year. He bought. He made the decision to buy his ro a Road Glide. Whoop, whoop. And I made the decision to buy the Pan America because we knew next year. Bike gang, baby. I mean, even the dealers were telling us the prices are gonna be a lot higher next year. Yeah. And when they say a lot higher, six to fifteen percent is a lot higher. I mean, let, let's, let's just hope it's not that much. Yeah, hopefully, the rumor is not true. But even when the dealers are telling you bikes are going to be more expensive, because I was going to wait till twenty twenty two to see what was coming out, and then I said, "Ah, screw you, it." You you still have an itch for another bike? Yeah, I know. we got to have a discussion about that too because I had four. Now I got three. I think the perfect number is two. And we have to have a discussion about that. Yeah. And I'll explain why I think two bikes is... I think if you didn't get the Pan America, I would have... It, it would have been fine. I, not fine. I, I would have... Well, I still have four bikes, but... No, no, no. But let's say if you would have got... If you would have not gotten the Pan America, got, got rid of the two road, bikes, yeah. and got what you really what we were talking about before... Yeah, that, been like, just, yeah, yeah. that would have been fine. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. You know, that's... Seems ideal. Yeah. You know? So... Right now, it's like, yeah, I think, I think your wife would drop you. Maybe. <laughs> so, but, uh, I mean, I think I think two bikes, I think every, anything above two bikes is too much. Yeah, yeah. And I, I said that when I was buying the four bikes. I think I mentioned that in the <laughs> video, that I, I think, you know, I, I had the most I ever had at one time, even though I've had like over 60 motorcycles, three bikes at one time. It's, was, it's too know, much, man. Yeah. Like, I, I was mentioning my last video when I was out on that ride right where now, yeah. I finally got to get on my Lowrider S and I'm like, wow, like, I, I've been, haven't been on this bike in two weeks. I mean, that's because I just get recently got in my rollout and I just, I got that crazy energy over it right now. But, I mean, three bikes is, uh, you, you, yeah. There, there's always going to be one that's going to be neglected because it's going to be your favorite bike, mm -hmm. the one that's almost your favorite. And then your one backup. Like, yeah. yeah. It's always good to have a backup. Yeah. So like like right now. Like right you, now, have my one? bike. Well, we we just finished dropping off my Rogue Glide at, at Harley Davidson to get a full system exhaust. So if you saw my last video as well, the uh, SNS pipes, the slip ons yeah, they're they're coming off. Like I actually took the baffles. Well, I took the baffles out of one of them. The other one was still stuck. But it sound it actually sounded better without the yeah. DB killers. Like it sounded really good. With the DB killer on, it's on the stock. Without it, it actually sounds like slip ons. That was good. 
But then I'm like, you know what? Like, I, I, at the end of the day, I really do want a stage one. So it's like, all right, well, it was available, so I got it, and it's in the shop right now. It's getting installed. I didn't want to do that work myself. I could have done it, and we're supposed to do it yesterday, but I'm like, you know what? Like, we're gonna get a dyno tune, so it's gonna. Be I want to get a dyno tune and everything as well. So whatever, take it, let them do it, and that's it. So tune in for that video. That should be up in a two days or so. So and we're gonna get a lot of good rips out of that. It's gonna sound yeah. amazing. Um, but yeah, two bikes, I think you don't need two, more than two bikes, but having a second bike, for example, like this, if I really wanted to ride right now, like, I would have any of these two, I mean, I got three. The Sportster hasn't been used. That's been neglected even more. That's now. been neglected even a lot, you know? But, eh. Three bikes, I don't think so. Two bikes, perfect. Yeah. Um, tell us what you feel about the surcharge. Do you feel like Harley Davidson should be eating it? Or are you on the fence about it? Are you 50-50 like I am? Drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Jerry. Coolest white guy. No, this guy is literally kind of famous now. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, they're like, hey, that, that's what he's known by. The coolest white guy. <laughs> you're the coolest white guy, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. yesterday and they were flat and I'm, Kelly's like no and I'm like I'm gonna bend it don't worry <laughs> you should flip it up man